What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a whoosh transition in Vegas Pro 16. Now I'm going to be showing you two different ways. One will require a plugin known as Sapphire Plugins. That is going to be a super quick and super simple way. The second way I'll be showing you is how to do it without plugins and it's just going to be using the pan and crop and also a built in video effect. Also be sure to check out the description because I will be having a link to a whoosh sound effect which you can use. So here we are on Vegas Pro 16, the first way I'm going to be showing you is the most simplest, the most quickest way and that is using Sapphire plugins. All you're going to be doing once you have Sapphire plugins or if you already have Sapphire plugins is heading over to your transitions tab. From here you're going to be looking for S underscore swish. So as you can see it's right here and it's S underscore swish pan. As you can see this is the effect. All you're going to be doing is dragging and dropping this in between your two clips. And now this is where you get control of the setting itself. However you don't really need to touch anything. The only thing you probably want to change is the direction. So instead of left you can have it right, up or down. But everything else I don't recommend you touch unless you really need to. Now I can X out of this and if I turn down the preview quality I'll play this through. Just like that you've created a whoosh transition and you can see how quick how simple that was and if you wanted the transition to be quicker you would zoom in to where you placed it which is in between the two clips and you can simply drag in from one corner and drag it from the other side. In between it tells you how quick or how long it is. That is saying 15 frames. So I can play this through. And that's now 15 frames. Super quick whoosh pan transition. Now final thing of course is adding on the sound effect. So I will be having a link to this in the description and this is multiple different types of whooshes you can use for your video. Now for example I'll just use the first one. And all you're going to do is line it up to how you want it. Then of course just split it pressing S on your keyboard and we'll play it through. So as you can see that's the effect it creates. Of course you can put the volume up over here on the gain side. And that's what that looks like. The, the sound effect just finishes it off makes it look a lot better. Now moving on to the way how to do it without plugins. This is going to require a bit more time and a bit more attention. However, it's still super simple to do. So the first thing you're going to do is right click and insert another video track. Then using your two videos here, you're going to go back or forward 5 to 15 frames. So depending how long or how quick you want this transition to look. So I've gone back 11 frames on this left click and I've simply split it. And then on the clip on the right, I'm going to go forward 11 frames as well. And I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split that. And these two clips right now are what we will be creating the effect with. So the clip on the left, you can drag up so it's on its own video track. Now what we're going to be doing is going over to the pan crop. All we're going to be doing from here, you can change the move freely to move in X only. Or if you want the transition to be in up or down, then select it again and move in Y only. Now all you're going to do is come across on your timeline here and drag it across to one side. Just like that. And simply get that keyframe and put it right at the end. Then also I recommend you right click that last keyframe and select fast. You can now X out of that. Then coming over to the next clip you can open the pan crop tool and you're going to drag this off to the opposite side. So notice this one is going to the left, which means we need our uh, second clip to move across to the right. So we're going to start it off on this side. Once again, come across in your timeline, you can right click and select restore. Then you can finish it off going over here. Right click and restore. Then of course drag this across to the end as well. And again, the very last keyframe, change it to fast by right clicking and selecting fast. Now currently, this is what we have. So you can see we're slowly getting there. So the next thing you're going to be doing is lining up the uh, two clips. So drag the audio onto a separate track if you have audio on your clips and simply drag it back. So you can see they're now going to be over each other and if I play it through, this is now what we've got. So we're almost there. We've got the motion, we just now need to add some video effects and of course the final sound effect. So for this we're going to head over to video effects. And we're going to go over to Gaussian Blur. 
Now what we're going to do is drag and drop on the default onto the top track. Then depending on the direction you are creating the transition in, you'll either turn down the horizontal or turn down the vertical. Now of course we're doing it horizontal so the vertical can go down. As you can see this is now what we get. Then on the horizontal range you want to select the clock to animate it. And on the very first keyframe you can turn it down. However, to the very last keyframe, you can turn it up and it's completely up to you how much you turn it up. So you can X out of it and this is now what we currently have. I'm just going to mute the audio. So playing it through, you can see that's what we have. Now what we want to do is the exact same thing to the clip underneath. So we're going to drag and drop on the default again. We're going to turn down the vertical range and we're going to turn down the horizontal range and we're going to open up the animation. So the difference here, the first keyframe is going to have the horizontal range up and the last keyframe is going to be at zero. So put it that one to the end, just dragging it over there and drag this one up here. Now if I X out of it and play it through, that's now what we've got. Now bear in mind that is 11 frames. So if you want it to be quicker, then use less frames. But that is it. That is how you would create the whoosh transition without any plugins. You can see it is a bit more time consuming. However, it is also very simple. Final thing just to finish it all off is of course adding on the sound effect. So I'm just going to use this same one over here and this is what we get.